Christy and Alonzo at the Grove. We just saw Abigail. Good Lord, that's a lot of blood. It's real wet. You know how like with Barbie, they used up all the pink paint in Hollywood <laughs> to make the Barbie dream houses? They used all the blood in Hollywood. There's not a drop left. It's all here. Um, I had fun for a while. It's a fun cast. Yeah. And the banters is cool like Catherine Newton, Dan Stevens, Melissa Barrera, it's a good cast. Sure. And the banter is fun for a while. It gets very, very repetitive. There's a cool, gnarly thing that happens. And the first time it happens is like, whoa, what did I just see? And then they keep doing it. Yeah, if you've seen the trailer, you know the first twist of this movie. There are other ones, which I'll grant it. But um I don't know. I didn't I wasn't all that entertained. I found all the characters kind of annoying. Oh, really? And so I wasn't it was like, okay, well you could just all die and that would be alright. Oh, Catherine Newton's cute. Uh, she's fine, but Aww. I just it was the characters, not the performance. Yeah, no, but it's, uh, just cute. it's from the makers of uh, Ready or Not, which I loved, and Scream what, five and six. I don't know, but this is similar to that structure though, in that like they're all in a place. Yeah. Yes, it definitely, it, it's definitely barred from the ready, the ready or Not playbook, but Ready or Not is way better and smarter and more clever. And uh, you, I, I was, I felt more invested in in whether or not you know uh, uh, Samara Weaving got out of that house than I did uh, with any of these folks. So, but if you feel like a lot of horror movies hold their punches and are too PG thirteen and too safe, like all the gore is yeah, here. no, it's real sanguine. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Um, so we'll have a little review for you on Friday. Come and check back with us then. Subscribe. Subscribe. Good to see you.